so today is Wednesday I'm trying to look over there I am sitting in the parking lot of Kendra Scott because I'm getting ready to go pick up a curbside order it is um, the day before my birthday <laughs> I ordered something for myself and I may go pick it up I have a hair appointment scheduled for tomorrow so I won't continue to look this bad <laughs> um yeah but I ordered something for myself that I'm picking up tomorrow I'm just gonna vlog I don't know I'm bringing you guys with me I don't have anything like too tough planned but I've been told to clear my day and what to wear so we like things like that so let me run into this Kendra Scott pick up my items and um I may do some shopping too but let's get up in here and of course the boys got me this beautiful card and Clarence got me this really really nice card like the inside is just so sweet and got a little something from Kendra Scott Joe Malone I haven't opened everything yet but I am um, eventually some beautiful roses and something from Crane Barrel I'm not sure I'll open it up um, later on and we've got champagne and rosé and red wine more roses i'm so excited today's just gonna be an amazing day clarence says that we have something planned for 4 30 i believe he said so i will silently like vlog today i'm not gonna be just whipping the camera out of course i want to be in the moment uh, but i thought i would wake up and share so happy birthday to me Okay, bye. So it's still my birthday. Um, we just had an amazing couple's massage. So good. Um, I'm about to get ready and dressed. We're about to have some wine and my new wine glasses. Um, and I may even eat a little popcorn before we go to dinner. Like, I feel like I need a little yang, yang, yang. We are headed to dinner. Boy, boy in the background. Um, dinner dress. So I don't think I showed my outfit earlier today. Clarence and I went and got couples massages, but this dress is from Nordstrom. Um, it's by a brand called l and I will try to leave it linked below. The shoes are from Amazon. Um, I'm just wearing this necklace that Clarence and the boys got me years ago for like a Mother's Day. This is all the shit that needs to go in my purse. My deepest apologies. Um, yeah, a necklace that they gave me, my Kendra Scott earrings, and my Pandora bracelets. Um, I'm going to be carrying my Givenchy Antigona and the, because the dress is like navy blue. That's that, a little leg out. Nothing too crazy. But the dress is super, super, super cute. I was a little nervous about it at first. Like, ooh, it's a little skimpy. Um, but no, it's like the perfect amount of skimp. I think it's the asymmetrical situation that makes it more flattering. But love it.
y'all what's up so it is several days later i think the last set of footage i took was on saturday i had a birthday brunch um just close family and friends we went to the same place that we had my mom's like actual birthday dinner at cherokee rose but we had brunch and it was so good i'm telling y'all if y'all are in like the stone mountain atlanta area, cherokee rose is amazing the food was excellent um as always so we had a really really good time um you guys saw that clarence and i had like a couple's massage we went and had a really nice dinner at this place called um new york prime i'd never been but neither heard he but it was really really good we'll definitely be back um that was in buckhead if you're in the atlanta area and it was really really good um but i thought since i had some time before i start work y'all my hair is really annoying me right now I don't have anything to like not sit here and mess with it. Um, so we're just gonna, girl, it was a weekend. So yes, the hair is, um, it's doing a lot, but whatever. But I wanted to quickly kind of share like a birthday haul, things that I got over the course of my birthday weekend. Um, just because stuff like this, like, I don't want to just sit it trying to like film a haul, if you will. I just want to kind of get it over with. So I'm going to share with you guys the things that I got for my birthday. Some of them I literally have been using since I got them. Um, the first one is this Prada pouch. Y'all, I have been looking for this and looking for this and looking for this. And I'm so glad that I got it. Um, it is the, I think it's called the Prada Reline or Re-Nylon Necessaire. All I know is it's like the smaller one. My girl, Brown Girl Lux here on YouTube has this and ever since she featured hers, I've been wanting one, but I always wanted it in a fun color. So I was like two weeks ago, I have three sellers on eBay that I swear by. And when they drop new stuff, I'll always get an email. So I was scrolling through one of my favorite sellers stores and she had this. I emailed her like, girl, first of all, the price, it was $166. This is retailing currently for like $450 um, and the color. So I got all the specs. She was like, yeah, it's something that I got um, around Christmas in 2019. It was a limited edition color um, and I just never used it. And I took it right on off her hands. She was like, I literally haven't used it not once. And I could tell because it was in impeccable condition. So I've already started using this. It has all of my like little lippy essentials, perfume, wet ones, honey pot wipes, a tie to go wipe. Cause it has like this little zip in the inside. Y'all, this is amazing. So I was just so glad to get it in a fun color because that was my thing that kept deterring me from pulling the trigger was that I don't really want it in black um, because my handbag is always like a bottomless pit. I need something I can see. Um, and I have the toiletry 19 that I've been using. However, it's still a little too big. As small as it is, it's sometimes a little too big for my smaller bags, but this was like the perfect size. So I was so happy to pick this up. And for 166, that's why we go pre-love ladies. Okay, so I was really excited about that. So this is something I gifted myself, Clarence. So this is something that kind of, Clarence kind of gifted me because I'd been wanting a belt in my collection for a while. My girl here on YouTube, Benita, I will leave her channel below. I'm gonna leave anybody I like mention, I'll leave them link below for y'all because they're phenomenal. Um, and as you can see, I swear by their recommendations but my girl Benita has been talking about Ferragamo for quite some time and I've just been on their website scouring looking the whole nine and when I did the Nordstrom anniversary sale in store y'all know I used a stylist and I did like look at other things that weren't necessarily in the sale um I mentioned to her that I've been wanting to get a belt and she showed me this on that iPad, y'all, and I fell in love. And I instantly thought of my girl, Benita. So I posted my wish list a couple months back and I mentioned that, and some people kind of got at me, um, that I'm not a huge like Gucci belt girl. It's just not my thing. I did, I had to pick this up in store. It wasn't something that they actually carry. So I had to order it online and have it shipped to the store. Um, <laughs> but... I'm not into the Gucci belt. It's just 
very dated to me. Anytime I've thought of even putting a belt on my repertoire, it's always been from Ferragamo. So when I saw this one, um, I just had to have it. And every time I wear something that requires a belt, Clarence reminds me that it requires a belt because he's always like, it look good, but you need a belt. And I'm like, whatever. So I finally got a belt in my collection. Again, this is by Ferragamo and it is the Gansini Rolo uh, leather, calfskin leather belt, y'all. I love it. First of all, the width. It's not too thick and it's not one of those super skinny belts. So I can do it like, you know, a standard belt or I could take it up a bit if I were like cinching in something. But the beauty in this belt, y'all, and the reason I was like, it's worth every bit of my $430 is because of this. So the plastic is on it, so you may not be able to see it well, but this is the gold side. And then you just flip this and it's silver. It took me out. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it y'all. So I love this belt already. I am going to probably get it sized this weekend. I did get it in the size hundred. Um, when he ordered it, we just go ahead and ordered it in the larger size because I, Ferragamo will fit this for me and everything like that. So I'm going to take it in, have it fit it, but I just thought that was amazing. So if I'm wearing silver, it's perfect. If I'm wearing gold, it's perfect. Like it is perfect. So I was so stinking excited about this. I will leave it linked. It is worth your, your money. You guys, it's worth putting like in your wardrobe like you need a good belt i've been looking for one for years and price point wise sometimes i'm like it's not worth it and then just when i would see reverse ones the reverse would always be this part not the actual hardware so the fact that i can get silver hardware or gold hardware and a neutral color on the leather i was sold as soon as i saw this i love it the width like i said is so good it's not too thick because a lot of them are like blocky i don't like that i wanted something that was classic that would just endure a lifetime in my collection and this all right so the next thing i got i purchased this for myself because i fell in love with the fragrance sample that i got when i ordered my dior Gris, which y'all know i swear by i wear that all the freaking time um so i ordered something else from christian dior this is the private blend uh collection i at this point I don't even want the regular Dior fragrances because these are so good. Um, but yeah, I just wrote myself a little something special in there. Um, of course, I've already opened this. But let me show you. So the fragrance I got was Ombre Nuit. But I got a bunch of samples that I'm going to share with y'all. And then I'll share with you the fragrance. Um, so this is Holy Peony. And this was like a sample. If y'all hear that noise, it's Cam. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Kind of. But yeah. So I got a sample of that. And these are 7 mil samples. And then this was the Ombre Nui. This is what I actually ordered. I got this as a tinier vial sample in my Dior order. And could not resist. Um, I had to have the bigger bottle. And then Christian Dior just always hooks you up with these really nice, like, samples and little dust bags. But it also came with three samples inside of here. I got Oud Ispahan, Tobacco Colère, and Jasmine Disanges. So, um... Whoa, I just got my lipstick all over that. Oh my gosh, y'all, I was not trying to do that. But this one I'm loving, Tobacco Lair. This is gonna be really good, or however you pronounce it, really good in the fall and winter. That's how they got me with the Ombre Nui. I got a little sample and I just could not stop smelling it. But this is the fragrance. Comes in this really nice dust bag. And here she is love it this is going to be so good for the fall and winter you guys it is a unisex scent but i cam in this helicopter 
but I love it. Cameron, can you turn that off for mommy? I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And when my birthday comes around, I always start, I'm thinking more fall and winter and I just know that this is gonna be a really nice scent for that time. So pick that up for myself. All right, so I also picked up a Dior like beauty item. Honestly, this was not really a birthday gift. I was trying to re-up on my Chanel cotton and they didn't have it. And a lot of you guys have told me that I should try this. So Dior makes cotton squares too. So I ordered a few and I was happy because I was, Cam's mad at me because I told him he can't make all that noise. I was happy to also get some samples in here. So of course you get your little Dior packaging. Dior just does it so nicely when it comes to the packaging. I just can't. So there we go. I just got the cotton squares, the prestige cotton squares. So I'll let you guys know how I like them. I literally have this many Chanel ones left. Um, and then just some samples. Um, I got a mini Dior lip maximizer, like a lip gloss. And the same samples that I got when I ordered my Ombre Nui. I guess that's just what they're giving away for the month. So I'll definitely get to try those scents and see if there's something that I like and probably love them and end up ordering something else. Um, Dior is just killing me with these, these fragrances. I'm, I'm really, I'm liking. Speaking of beauty stuff, this is something my mom got me. She had this sent to the house from Jo Malone. I also picked up something for myself from Jo Malone. But yeah, this is from my mom. It is one of the Jo Malone bath bars. So I could smell this coming out the box, you guys. Um, it's the Pomegranate Noir scent. But you guys know, I've mentioned this before, I don't purchase Jo Malone fragrances. I made that mistake twice years ago and was very disappointed. They just don't last on my body chemistry. I don't care how much lotion I throw on me, how much Vaseline I throw on me to try to get the scent to last, it doesn't. But I love the brand so much that I drifted off into their body care and now I'm hooked. If you are looking for something that just is going to luxuriate your bath experience, Jo Malone is that girl, okay? So I'm excited to try this. I will probably use this tonight. And then it also came with like this little bag that had a sample of wood sage and sea salt, which is one of my favorites. I have that shower gel in my um, shower right now. And then it also came with a deluxe sample of wood sage and sea salt, um, the fragrance, which is good because it doesn't last long enough. So it's a great like nighttime thing scent, you know? So I'll definitely use the little samples, which is what I do. I use them at night because um, they just, they're not long lasting, but I still love Jo Malone and they make great body care. So if you're like me and the fragrances don't last on YouTube, long definitely check out their body care okay the next thing i got like i said was from joe malone as well but i got this for myself this is the english pear and freesia body and hand wash the 16.9 ounce so this is like the jumbo one um this was in the anniversary sale y'all know everything was going in and out with that so when i when they put it on sale i scooped it up because I didn't want to miss out. This was like one of the only other beauty things I wanted because everything else kept just not being in stock, which was like whatever. Um, but this is so huge. I have two of these in my shower already. So I probably honestly will not get to using this until like September, but uh, love. So I was super excited about that. And then last but not least, I got some uh, jelly sandals from Stuart Weitzman. These are the Melly Bow Jelly Rubber Sandals. Um, honestly, you guys, I literally only picked these up because they were on sale. Stuart Weitzman is running a sale. They have quickly become like fresh in my mind again. I used to wear Stuart Weitzman shoes when I worked at the bank um, because they have just a more professional aesthetic, them and uh, Ferragamo shoes. 
but if you're looking for like a luxury shoe that's comfortable, Stuart Weitzman is amazing. So although I'm not in an office setting anymore, I still love the T-strap sandals that I have from them. And so when I saw these, I had to pick them up, but they're just these cute little pink jelly sandals. Y'all tell me these will not be cute with a little baby doll sand, uh, dress. So cute. So like I said, I'm in Atlanta. It's going to be hot for quite some time. So I know I'll get to wear these at least once before the summer ends. But they're just adorable. I thought they were so adorable. Pink little jelly shoes with this cute bow. Um, I have this a similar style, same uh, brand. They're both by Stuart Weitzman, but they're black. And they're like a T-strap sandal. And when I tell y'all they are so comfortable, I wore them Saturday to my brunch. So comfortable. So loved these and y'all will not believe how much these were so original price point was 150 and i got them for 24.99 on saks off fifth so i wasn't you know intentionally like oh i need some new shoes no but they were so cheap and so cute that i had to pick them up especially because i mean 150 compared to 25 like girl i'm gonna buy them for 25 you know what i'm saying so yes pick those up just a random thing that i picked. all right y'all so that is everything that i got for my birthday i mean i got other things gift cards i got starbucks gift cards i got checks i got cash i got all that kind of stuff but um these were like the you know things that you can sit up and I guess show or whatnot. But I thank you all so much for the birthday love, whether it was on Facebook, Instagram, directly messaging me here on YouTube. I appreciate it immensely. I love you guys. As always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. My next video, I'm gonna try to film this q and I've had a lot going on, y'all. So I just hadn't had the time to sit down, but I do have y'all's questions and I am going to answer them. I will see you guys in my next video.